What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be working on a 97 Honda CRV that has a broken wheel stud. Usually to replace a wheel stud, all you need to do is remove the brakes, align the stud with a specially assigned cutaway in the knuckle, knock the broken stud out and put a new one in. But the flaw of the design on this particular vehicle is there is no cutaway. So you have to press out the wheel hub to replace the stud. And that includes a press, a new wheel bearing on top of removing the brakes and the knuckle and all of that just to replace a little $2 wheel stud. So it's no surprise, shops charge over $350 to do this. And the alternative I have for you is get a good used knuckle from a junkyard. That should run you no more than $50 and you can do it yourself. No alignment necessary. Here are the tools you're going to need half inch ratchet with a 36 millimeter socket you can rent from any local parts store 3 8 ratchet with a 19 17 14 and 12 millimeter sockets a hammer with a screwdriver i'm using an impact screwdriver but a regular one should do also a chisel or a punch to lock the axle nut in place not absolutely necessary torque wrenches and impact guns so let's begin. If you don't have an impact gun, loosen the lug nuts, remove the center cap that says H on it, and loosen the axle nut that is hiding behind it. I'm doing it a slightly different way because I do have impact guns, but it's still the same concept. Just keep watching. Jack up and secure the vehicle and remove the wheel. Turn the wheel all the way to the right. Use the steering wheel if it's too hard to turn so you can gain access to the tie rod end. Remove the cotter pin using a small screwdriver. It is recommended to replace cotter pins with new ones every time you take them out. Next, you will need a 17 millimeter socket to loosen the nut, but don't take it off yet. unless you have one of these OTC kits with special tools like this one. The concept is pretty simple. Throw the arms on the knuckle side and screw the rod in until the tie rod separates from the knuckle. But if you don't have a tool kit like this, grab a larger hammer, two pound is good, and smack the knuckle side a few times with it. Tie rod end pops right out and now you can remove it from the knuckle and turn the knuckle the other way. Now I'm going to remove the brakes, starting with the caliper. We need a 14 millimeter socket for that. Loosen both bolts first before removing them completely. Slide the caliper off, move it off to the side for now and remove the brake pads. Next, I'm going to remove the brake caliper bracket bolts with a 17 millimeter socket. Again, make sure to loosen both of them first. And remove the bracket. Now remove the brake line bracket bolt with a 12 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever you can fit, because it's kind of hard to get to. And now we can hang up our caliper with a bungee cord or some wire hanger, whatever you can find to take the tension off the brake line. Next, let's remove the screws from the rotor. I'm using an impact screwdriver, but you can use a regular screwdriver. Just tap on the back of it with a hammer if the screws don't want to come out. Mine were actually loose, so they came right out. If the rotor is stuck to the hub, hit it with a hammer in this area and hit it hard until it gets loose. Next, let's disconnect the upper ball joint. 
remove the cotter pin. Using a 17 millimeter socket, loosen the nut, but don't take it off. Hit the knuckle side with a hammer until the ball joint breaks loose. Now the same thing for the lower ball joint. Cotter pin, 17 millimeter socket, hit it with a hammer. Now I'm going to remove the axle nut. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have an impact gun, you want to loosen it when you're loosening your lug nuts with the wheel on the ground. It takes a 36 millimeter socket. You can rent it from your local parts store like O'Reilly. Now we can remove all of the nuts that we left on and take the knuckle out. To install a new knuckle, reverse the removal procedure. Align the hub splines with the axle. Slide the lower ball joint into the control arm and fit the upper ball joint into the knuckle. Get the nuts started. Start the lower ball joint nut, axle nut, the tie rod end nut, and install the rotor. Torque the upper ball joint nut to 32 foot-pounds and install a new cotter pin. Torque the lower ball joint to 39 foot-pounds. If the castle nut does not line up with the cotter pin hole, it's okay to keep turning the castle nut until the next hole is aligned but don't use a torque wrench to do that because it will throw off your torque wrench calibration. Then install your brake components, brake caliper bracket bolts, torque to 80 foot-pounds, install your brake pads, and brake caliper. Bolt torque to 36 foot-pounds. Brake line bracket bolt torques to 18 foot-pounds. And don't forget to remove the bungee cord. Torque the tie rod end to 32 foot-pounds and install a cotter pin. Tighten the axle nut, install the wheel, Torque the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds and torque the axle nut to 181 foot-pounds. And this is how you replace a knuckle on a 97 Honda CRV. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or feedback, leave in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Good luck and take care.